I like a wine to Diego. So what's up guys, so welcome back to my boy Gadam Slink. How you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So we are my people. Please kindly uh let me know if you are with me today so that I can uh, acknowledge you. So just write something so that I can acknowledge you. Of course, you guys know the drill. You know the normal drill, except if you are new here. You know the normal drill, guys. Except if you are new here. So firstly, Barakat Salah to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. So I do not know, I've lost count. I don't know which day, know how many we have fasted so far. But uh, I pray that uh, God continue to accept our prayers and uh, our ibadah, our swalat and everything. So that's to all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there. So we are my people now. We are you guys. Are you guys sleeping? So let's continue. Maybe pending when uh, the other guys, the other people will join us. So, uh, of course, you guys can see the title of this video. I want to discuss about portable Zazu and uh, also I'm going to discuss about uh, Tinubu as well. Then other stuff in this video. So I will be very, very fast. And in case you want to call, you can simply call me at Adam's Link Media on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter and uh, of course Telegram as well. So I don't know if you guys have seen the recent news concerning uh, Portable. Hmm? I don't know if you guys have seen the recent uh, news concerning Portable. So there were some policemen who stormed Portable's house. There were some policemen who came to Portable's house to arrest him. No. <laughs> Check this out. Yes, the, uh, border boy, gorilla. Uh, the portable, babu. <laughs> So they came to Portable's house to arrest him because a Yahoo boy laid a complaint. We do not know what happened. A Yahoo boy laid a complaint against uh, Portable because Portable was giving him advice to leave Yahoo Yahoo and uh, you know follow the normal, you no know, come into the music business, just advising the guy generally. But well, obviously the guy wasn't having it, and uh, the guy went out to get Mupo. To arrest portable of course you know how the thing goes now in nigeria now once you have power you can intimidate with police just give them money they will follow you to arrest whoever you wish to arrest with to a question with that question we start showing id card and they will come with uh, on uh, unregistered car and those police decided to call arrest possible portable but i think they made the greatest they have realized that they made the greatest mistake of their life. Portable showed them pepper. Portable let them know that, see, I am not that ordinary person that you can just come and intimidate or you think you're just going to arrest just like that. Now, that is how this old uh, Portable Babu came about. Oh. He was screaming on top of his voice, shouting, parabolating, just making all sorts of noise. But we did his rights though. But some of the comments he made is that it's a pretty like he say it's a federal government liability that he works for APC. 
that is a superstar. Why should anybody want to arrest a superstar? Of course, anybody can, uh, the police have every right to arrest any superstar if that superstar is uh, doing anything wrong, if that superstar is wanted. But in this case, I will not blame portable, I'm blaming the police. So let us, uh, let me play you some few video. video. <laughs> The thing is that, okay, we all already know how the drill goes when it comes to Nigeria police. Very unprofessional. So you said there's a petition against someone. What kind of petition? Okay, you said you want to arrest. Where's the warrant of arrest? Nothing like that. You say petition. Okay. You never even brought your ID card. They never came with the ID card. They never came with the ID card. They came with unpainted, unpainted, just a private car with that plate number. Is that not criminals? Obviously, those police people are, are criminals. And the Nigeria police, although they have been looking for scapegoats, but Nigerians have been complaining that many police people are coming out with on a painted uh, car. Now, if they say they are serious, they want to eradicate such police people. I think Portable just delivered three good policemen who came there unprofessionally, who weren't hacked, no arrest warrant, we are doing illegal business there. They should get them arrested as a police and deal with them. Get them arrested and deal with them decisively. Because all those police people were fake. A policeman, a well-trained Nigerian policeman will not hurt like that. Will not. Except if it's normal thing. Except if the Nigeria police agree that it's a normal thing, because we already know exactly all those kind of objects. They will just come arrest you. They will see you are needed in the police station. If you follow them, oh boy, you are on your own. So, despite the ultrasound possible me there, I am fully, fully, for the first time or for the few time, supporting portable in this. It will be portable, say, I have already deal with them. Now he has exposed their face, and I believe the Nigeria police should do something. Question there, why did you embarrass us like that? Why did you embarrass the Nigeria police like that? Going to someone's house without arrest warrant, without nothing, nothing. Why are you say sign the there's a complaint against you? If there's complaint against somebody, won't you invite the person? Did the person kill someone? Did they rob someone? You this is, if it's a civil matter, you invite. Do you arrest? You invite the person. Let's be completely honest. You invite the person. This guy needs to be see. <laughs> see, I'm 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 most definitely I'm most definitely supporting portable in this one. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, as he said, is the is the babu. We know we all we all we already have Odogo is the gorilla now portable is the babu of Nigeria entertainment music industry. Well, that's equally really really good guys. And uh, let's move past that. Eh? For those of you who are asking for uh, president elect Tinubu, you know it's fasting period. There were these rumors going around that he traveled to receive some uh, medical care. However, it was spotted in Mecca. It was spotted in Mecca. It was spotted. I don't know if this is an old video, if this is a new video. But of course, you can see. 
You can see how Nigerians were rushing in to greet him. He was spotted there observing his, uh, his uh, of course, uh, you know, doing his prayers and everything. You know, he said it's not, he will not celebrate his 71 birthday. He said, no celebration. On my birthday, make sure we pray that Nigeria needs prayers. Of course, there are some uh, side talk that has to do with that. Although, it's, it's, like I've said, celebrating 71 birthday. And meanwhile, his first daughter apparently, apparently, is, 70, is celebrating 61 birthday. She's 61. So, Bolatunopo apparently is 71. Now. So, at the age of 11, he had his first child. <laughs> Well, a lot of uh, people are saying uh, the president is like close to 80 years old, 90 years old, not 90, I'm not sure, close to 80 years old. And I would know how age is like in this country. Mem like majority of Nigeria forfeit their age. They kind of like temper with their age. Majority. Even on your birthday, let me be completely honest, even on your birthday, you lie about your age. But by the time it starts sing, singing yeah, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, how old are you now? Instead of you to say I'm 32 years today, like myself, 32, or when you say 28 or 20 something, you say plus one. What is plus one? Why are you shy? What is plus one? Just simply tell us your age. Your age don't come be say somebody go come go strike you down. That's the mentality of us. And it started from these our fathers. Tempering with their age. And it started with civil servants. In offices, tempering with their age. Simply because the federal government said, you must not be above 26 or 30 or thereabout for you to get a job. So people must temper with their age. And it also started from there. And they also go to the footballers the entertainers, the politicians as well. So Nigerians are fond of temp uh, tempering with their age. If a Nigerian person tells you he's 25 years old, go and check very well. That person is 26 or 27 years old. Go and check very well. And meanwhile, uh, speaking on Bola Ahmed Tunubu, he said his daughter is uh, 61 years old, and meanwhile, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is uh, 71 years old. This is uh, the picture, guys. This is the president-elect, and that's the first daughter. Apparently, the first daughter is 61 years old, and the Bola Ahmed Tunubu is 71 years old. So I don't know if that is possible. I don't know if that is possible. I don't know, guys, if that is possible. Hmm? So to move forward, guys, uh, let's talk about... Uh, Davido's uncle, the dancing senator. The dancing senator is actually doing the dance, uh, is, is actually doing incredible things in Osho State, if we are honest with ourselves. This guy came and uh, did a lot of project, pay off salary areas, pay off pensioners, something that the former uh, governor wasn't able to do, maybe because of wickedness. He paid it off. So recently he was interviewed and he was asked, how did you do it? And then I see that there's something. So the first thing I did, that's why I felt I was doing money. I was able, I prayed to God to give me the wisdom of Solomon, King Solomon, to be able to lead my people. And I pray about it, and he did. God, God gave me that wisdom. I was able to maneuver and then pay the bank, the parliamentary uh, personnel who are dying. I was able to pay their salary. That's why they came out in mass today. To Your receive Your Excellency, a lot of people listening will be shocked because they know the state of how things were yes. in Osho State. So, where did this money come from? Or did you pay out of pocket? No, I block all the leakages. I block all the leakages. Where they spend money, where it's not necessary. Where the money, they buy all the money that is meant for Osho is going somewhere else. So I block it. And of course, I spread it. I have a formidable team. Now, some say. 
So that is a day with those uncle. And honestly, let's give respect to who respect are due to. The man is actually trying in on shoe state. This guy, the trial in on shoe state, let it be let it be known now. And the question is that why is it that the past governors, the past politicians, are not held responsible over misappropri misappropriation of fund? Why are they not recalled and held responsible? made to face the full rot of the law for squandering state's money, for squandering public funds. Why? The next man will struggle to pay. The next politician that will take over will struggle, 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 struggle to pay. That is the good one too. Meanwhile, the bad ones will still continue eating from that avenue created by the former one. It's about time. Politicians, even if they do not eat the money, but they misappropriated the money. It's about time they start paying for it. It's about time they start paying for it. They start asking, okay, why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do this? It's about time. It's about that time. And again, like I said before, let us give big respect to, uh, to David O's uncle. That man is actually trying. Really, really trying, guys, honestly. Really, really, really trying. So these are the few people I will always say, okay, as of now, when this is when they were elected, they are actually doing the right thing, going around to to help. To help their people. You heard what uh, Dino Milai said about uh, Tunobu, right? Very, very insulting. He said it about Tinubu and they also stylishly mocked the uh, downplayed Peter Obi as well. So listen to it, if you, in case you have not listened to it before. Um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu cannot be our president. And I also want to call on the judiciary that the judiciary cannot create a president for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A president will only be created by democratic due process through electionary processes and anyone voted for a, a popular vote in this country will be the president of this country never will we allow the judiciary to create a president for the federal republic of nigeria and a drug baron a certified drug baron cannot be the president of the federal republic of nigeria and i'm using this opportunity to call on president muhammad buhari who in 1985 sent his government actually sentenced three people to death and they were indeed executed they were indeed murdered three drug parents arrested during his regime in 1985 were summarily executed they were killed by that government so a man who executed drug barons and drug traffickers under his watch in 1985 will now on may 29 hand over power hand over the federal republic of nigeria to a drug barrel. It is time for Buhari to think, it is time for Nigeria to try to think that a certified drug baron who has been indicted and money was deducted from his account to the tune of over four hundred thousand dollars. You can calculate that in order to I uh, will want to say he wants to be the president of the Trial Republic of Nigeria. No, a Pablo, an Escobar Pablo cannot be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We say no to it and we'll continue to agitate, we'll continue to ask questions, we'll continue to protest, we'll continue to agitate within legal means to prove a point that, I mean, a drug baron cannot be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The battle to salvage this country from economic cankerworms and financial scavengers, this battle to make sure that Nigeria is not declared as the drug capital of the world. Already we are the poverty capital of the world. The battle to get that done is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. We will survive. Well, that is uh, Dino Milai is currently uh, want to be the next Kogi State governor. Well, he said two things. It's not, a, it's not only against the boy alone. It's also against Peter Obi because he said judiciary cannot force candidates on Nigerians. So the matter is a court, and like I've said before, Tinubu is chilling. Tinubu is all about his prayers. He's not even around. He's in Mecca. 
So <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> well, that is uh, politics for you guys. Now I want to play you a video of one man who was among those politicians that were downplaying the Obi movement. But uh, very fortunately, the Obi movement actually took a lot of seats. And now he has this to say. He said he never really thought or take Obi movement as serious entity because uh, South Africa lack, sorry, because uh, Labour Party lacks lacks any means to win, like structure. You know, they usually say structure, structure. Labour Party do not have structure, they cannot win. So they were just based on that structure talk. But uh, they, were, they made the surprise of their life because Nigeria youth came out and be like, you know what? It's not possible for you guys to take our mandate by force. I'm trying to search for the video, guys. Uh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Search for the video. So you guys can see it. It's a Nigeria politician. So how? This is it. You see, what happened in the presidential election, as you will see, was that... There was this wave, you know, uh, of obedience of young people that we all took for granted. And we were thinking that P2P was a joke, where will he go? So both PDP and APC who were thinking, no, this man, he doesn't have structures, he will not be able to do much, and so on. So, but the people somehow, young people, seized the initiative from all the politicians. And for the first time, what we saw in Nasarawa, in several other places, in, in Edo, <laughs> in Delta, where the vice president comes from, we saw that the young people were serious about what they were doing and they took a at least they are not seeing how serious Nigeria youth are. So, guys, uh, that should be all. And thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for staying tuned. And have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time tomorrow at the same time. Bye.